tendrils of the loofah sponges had grabbed onto the shading cloth. It's unreal. Whoa. Whoa. sponge day and no loofah sponges do not grow in the sea this is a loofah sponge plant okay look at the size of this fruit well when you peel it off you have a loofah sponge inside now today is the 13th of october and we've planted these loofah sponge plants around mid-july and they have been growing non-stop expansionally i believe i've been cutting them down on a weekly basis but some of these vines are now over 30 feet long over nine to ten meters long i didn't even know they could grow so long and they just grew over the structure of the back of our farm over there over the roof and i need to go cut down the plants now because it's just out of control completely out of control so let's do something about it I've just grabbed onto the the structure. It's almost ah. This here is a 13 pot, 52 plants per tower. It's the tallest model of uh, of the commercial towers. We only use it when it's within a structure because when the plant reaches the cables, it gives support to the tower. And regardless of storms, regardless of uh, weather conditions, 13 pot is perfect outdoors, but just as long as you're gonna just grow plants that have tendrils. And usually we're talking about cucurbits, cucumbers, loofahs, melons, etc. <laughs> The amazing thing about loofahs is that they belong to the curcubits family, which is also related to cucumbers, melons, zucchinis, squashes. All these plants like to crawl and you need to make sure you have enough space for uh, the branches to sprawl out. still have tomatoes. Mm. Mm. Mid-October tomatoes on the tower garden. So good. Do you know the shape of this one? That's odd. from the roof. Alright, 
this is the harvest of four four plants only and if i didn't cut them if i didn't harvest them they'd keep on growing and growing Whew. time for a shower time for lunch I'm done, I'm done.